So you've played Sunbreak and you're sick of doing this. And you'd rather be doing this. But the Switch has spoiled you. And instead of playing stuck at your desk, you'd rather be playing in full HD wherever you please. And that's why you bought the Steam Deck. Uh, no. The Steam Deck! You've got two options at your fingers. If you're looking for arguably the more optimized way to play free Ultimate, then the CMU emulator is where it's at. The deck runs Wii U games unsurprisingly well, and just from my testing, I'm able to run the game at solid 60 frames per second with no tweaking. This game is beautiful. But it comes at a cost. The Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate Wii U port doesn't utilize the Wii U standard networking, meaning that you won't be able to play games with anyone online. This is fine if you're a friendless loser, but if you're looking to hunt with a party online, then the answer becomes a little more complicated. This is a tutorial on how to get Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate running on your Steam Deck with online play and an HD texture pack. This is where we're going to go with our second option, the 3DS version via Citra. Our first step is to install Emudeck. This process is extremely simple. I've linked the Emudeck site down in the description and great tutorials are uploaded every minute. The next is to obtain a legal copy of 3U on the 3DS. It's highly likely that your legally owned copy of 3U is still encrypted and must be decrypted before Citra can read it. Linked below is a batch CIA decryptor made by Matif of GBA Temp. Download the decryptor, throw in your .cia file, run the .bat file, and should now have a decrypted version. We now want to throw our files onto the deck. Install Warpinator to your personal computer and onto your deck via the Discover. This will allow you to easily transfer files from your PC directly to your deck, and tutorials are also available online. Once transferred, move the .cia file to your deck's 3ds ROM folder. Mine can be found here. Now, at this point you might be emboldened to run Steam ROM Manager and boot directly into the game. Try that and you'll be met by this. Willing to make a few tweaks. Monster Hunter 3U has an internal FPS cap of 3000, resulting in this weird slowdown. In desktop mode, launch Steam, and then launch the Citra application. Start 3 Ultimate, and then click the Emulation tab, and then Cheats. Add a new cheat, and copy and paste the 30 FPS cap mod made by Mike Wee 7 also of GPA Temp. Enable it. Now press Emulation, Configuration, Graphics, and make sure Depth is set to 0. Run Steam ROM Manager, go back to Gaming Mode, boot into 3 Ultimate, go to Options, Game Settings, set 3D Display to Off. If all done correctly, you should now be able to play at an incredibly stable 30 frames per second. A 60 frame per second mod exists, but I believe it might mess with the animations and hitboxes, so use it to your own discretion. Do also note, all the pre-rendered cutscenes, like that in the intro, are insanely laggy. These exist few and far between in the game, so try to skip them whenever you can. The next few steps are totally optional, but will give you the boost in graphics you want. Download the 3 Ultimate HD texture pack made by the incredible Monster Hunter Classic HD project team. The pack as a whole totals 2.5GB, but if you have little space to spare, then you can pick and choose any specific folder that you want. Unzip the packs and then throw all the folders onto Warpinator to transfer them to your Steam Deck. To navigate the Citra's emulation folder, select Home, type .var into the file path, app, org.citraemu, data, citraemu, load, textures. I have the US version of 3 Ultimate, and this is its specific title ID. Copy and paste all your custom textures into this folder and do a quick verification that they all look present. If you're using either the Japanese or European release, the title ID might differ. If you're unable to discern which is the correct folder, you can select the Dump Textures option in Citra, run your game, and Citra should make a brand new folder in the Dump folder with its correct title ID. As a last step, while still in the Graphics tab of Citra, be sure to enable custom textures and leave the preload option disabled. Change the internal resolution to the value of your choosing, 
I found that 3x performs the best while still looking great, but you may choose to set it higher. Save all your settings and you should now be able to play the second best Monster Hunter online at a stable frame rate and in HD. A couple extra tips. Emudex should have installed a controller layout specific for Citra. The L4 button will display the Citra emulator tabs, L5 will swap between the screen layouts, R4 will swap the bottom screen and top screen, and holding R5 will force quit out the emulator. In order to join a lobby, click L4, click the find a room prompt in the bottom left, and select any of your choosing. I found that allowing the DEX gyro to act as a context sensitive joystick makes the gunner weapons feel a lot more fun and modern. Make little stickers to mimic Nintendo's button layouts if you ever get confused. And always crouch whenever you carve, unless you want to be called the casual. Happy hunting!